Hello and welcome to the CTrader Automate Educational Video. In this video we will demonstrate how to declare and use parameters in your CBOTS and indicators. We will develop a simple indicator and we will show you how to use parameters to configure it from the CTrader user interface. We explain what kind of parameters you can use in a CTrader CBOT or indicator and illustrate how they are declared and used in your code. Parameters are configurable values that can be set by the user when adding an indicator on a chart or before the execution of a CBOT. Parameters are a very useful feature for CBOTs and indicators as they allow you to configure your algorithms without having to hard code numbers inside your code. For example, you can use parameters in indicators to configure indicator variables like the periods to be considered or the data source that needs to be used. In CBOTs, you can use parameters to configure variables like stop losses, take profits, or any other parameter you like before the execution. Before we start writing the code for our indicator, let's briefly see what types of parameters you can declare in a CTrader algorithm. Therefore, let's open the relevant section inside CTrader Help Center. As we can see here, CTrader Automate supports eight types of parameters. These are integers, doubles, strings, booleans, data series, timeframes, enumerators, and colors. Let's switch back to the CTrader Automate application and create a new indicator to demonstrate how we can declare the parameters and use them in our code. We will create a sample indicator that will calculate the standard deviation of the price. Let's create a new indicator and call it standard deviation. In order to calculate the standard deviation, we first need to calculate the moving average of the price. So let's start by declaring the parameters needed for the moving average indicator. First, we will add a property that will allow us to configure the moving average period. Any public property that has one of the supported types can become an indicator parameter. The only thing you need to do is to add the relevant attribute to the property. The parameter attribute instructs CTrader Automate to present this property as a parameter in your indicator's parameter panel using the defined name. The parameter attribute allows you to define some properties of the parameter, like the displayed name, the default value, the group in which this parameter will be placed in, the maximum and minimum values, as well as the step that the parameter will change when up and down arrows are pressed, in the case of numerical values. Let's do this for our parameter. Now let's add the rest of the parameters needed for the moving average. The MA type will help us determine the moving average type. The moving average type is an enumerator and this parameter will appear as a dropdown in our user interface with the relevant choices. The source parameter will give the option to the user to specify the data source for the moving average indicator. The type for this parameter is data series. Now that parameters are declared, let's declare and initialize our moving average.
We will use the declared parameters as inputs to the moving average constructor method. With our moving average initialized, we can implement the standard deviation calculation. Our indicator already contains an output property, so let's use it to display the results of the calculation. Let's write the code for the standard deviation calculation in our calculate method. To calculate the standard deviation of the price for the defined period, we need to sum the prices raised to the power of 2, divide the result by the moving average and then find the square root of this value. Let's build our indicator and add an instance on the chart. Let's modify the parameters and see how the indicator updates on the chart according to the new parameters. With our standard deviation completed, we can also add a horizontal line in our indicator that will serve as a visual threshold for the indicator. For this purpose we will need to add some more parameters, the first one will be a boolean parameter that will determine if our line will be shown or not. Then the line level parameter will allow us to determine at which price level the entry will be triggered. The type for this parameter is double. At last let's add a parameter to choose the color of this line. With all the necessary parameters in place, we can write the code to draw the line on our indicator chart. Let's write the code in our initialize method. The horizontal line will be drawn in the indicators area of our chart, where our indicator values are displayed. Let's build our indicator again and let's modify the line parameters. We can hide and unhide the line from the chart, move it up and down as well as select the color of our preference. A final feature we can add is the option to show our indicator on a specific time frame only. Let's add a time frame parameter for this purpose. We can check our time frame against this parameter insider initialize method and decide if the indicator should be displayed or not. We can build our indicator again and modify the time frame parameter. 
See how the indicator is hidden when the selected time frame does not match our selection. We hope that you found the video helpful. Feel free to ask any questions at the bottom of this video and subscribe to be updated when we publish a new video.